Space. It's vast, it's mysterious, and it's our home. But where exactly are we in this grand cosmic tapestry? We live on Earth, a planet orbiting a rather ordinary star we call the Sun. Our Sun is just one of billions of stars in the Milky Way galaxy, but the Milky Way is not alone. It's part of a local neighborhood of galaxies, a cosmic suburb if you will. And this suburb sits in a very peculiar place, a cosmic void. Imagine a vast dark emptiness stretching out for hundreds of millions of light years. This is the KBC Void, named after its discoverers Keenan, Barger, and Cowie. It's one of the largest known structures in the universe, and it's where we call home. We often picture the universe as a uniform sea of galaxies, but the reality is far more complex. The universe is more like a sponge, with dense clusters of galaxies connected by filaments and surrounded by vast, empty regions. These regions are the cosmic voids, and the KBC void is one of the biggest. So, here we are, on a tiny planet, orbiting an average star, nestled within a galaxy that sits in the middle of one of the universe's largest known voids. It's a humbling and perhaps even a little unsettling thought, isn't it? The KBC void is almost impossibly big. It stretches for 2 billion light years across, a diameter seven times larger than the average void. To put that in perspective, if the entire Milky Way galaxy were a grain of sand, the KBC void would be the size of a football stadium. It's a region so vast that it boggles the mind, and it's mostly empty. While the universe outside the void teems with galaxies, stars, and planets, the KBC void is a cosmic desert. There are a few galaxies sprinkled here and there like lonely outposts in a vast wilderness. But for the most part, it's a realm of emptiness, a place where darkness reigns supreme. This emptiness has profound implications for our understanding of the universe. It challenges our assumptions about the homogeneity of the cosmos, suggesting that the distribution of matter on the largest scales is far more uneven than we once thought. The KBC void is a stark reminder that the universe is not a uniform and predictable place. It is a realm of extremes of vast distances and mind-boggling emptiness, and it's right in our cosmic backyard. How did this cosmic void come to be? The answer lies in the very fabric of the universe itself. The universe as we know, is expanding. This expansion is not just the galaxies moving apart through space, it's the very fabric of space-time stretching, pushing everything farther and farther away from everything else. But this expansion is not uniform. In the early universe, tiny quantum fluctuations created regions of slightly higher and lower density. These density differences, though minuscule at first, were amplified by gravity over billions of years. Regions of higher density attracted more matter, growing into the galaxy clusters and filaments we see today. Conversely, regions of lower density lost matter to their surroundings, eventually becoming the vast cosmic voids. The KBC void is a relic of these early density fluctuations, a fossilized imprint of the universe's infancy. It's a testament to the power of gravity to sculpt the cosmos on the grandest of scales. Understanding the formation of voids is crucial to our understanding of the universe's evolution. By studying these vast, empty regions, we can learn about the distribution of matter in the early universe, the nature of dark matter and dark energy, and the fundamental forces that govern the cosmos. Section 4. Ripples in the Cosmic Fabric, the KBC Void and the Cosmic Web. The KBC void might seem like an anomaly, a cosmic oddity, but it's actually part of a much larger structure, the cosmic web. This web is a vast network of filaments and walls of galaxies interspersed with enormous voids. It's the largest pattern we see in the universe, a testament to the interplay of gravity and cosmic expansion. The KBC void is one of the largest voids in this web, a gaping hole in the cosmic tapestry. Its existence tells us that the universe is not smooth and uniform, but lumpy and textured. It's a reminder that the universe is constantly evolving, shaped by forces we are only beginning to understand. The cosmic web provides a framework for understanding the distribution of galaxies and the large-scale structure of the universe. By studying the properties of voids and filaments, we can refine our models of cosmology and gain insights into the nature of dark matter and dark energy. Section 5. Islands in the Void, the Local Group, and Other Galaxies Even within the vast emptiness of the KBC Void, we are not entirely alone. The Milky Way is part of a small group of galaxies called the Local Group. 
This group, containing about 54 galaxies, is our little island in the cosmic void. These galaxies are gravitationally bound to each other, meaning they are close enough to be affected by each other's gravity. Over billions of years, galaxies in the local group have interacted and even collided, shaping their evolution and creating streams of stars and gas that stretch across intergalactic space. The presence of these galactic companions within the KBC void highlights the complex interplay of gravity and expansion on different scales. While the void as a whole is expanding, the gravitational interactions within the local group hold these galaxies together, creating a small pocket of relative stability within the vastness.